going to repurpose a Dollar Tree sign. Keep watching. A couple of supplies you might need. You might need some paint, a floral pick, some wooden adhesive stickers, some ribbon, and then I have an emery board there. I've already painted the back of this sign, and you can see here that it was a summer sign from Dollar Tree. I used two coats of white chalk paint and let it dry well. So I've decided that this is how I want my stickers to be placed. And I'm going to start putting my ribbons on. Now you'll see in a minute I changed this up. But for now, this is what I started with. And this is a Dollar Tree ribbon. It's sort of a burlap type of material. I wanted to use it for the cap for the jar. And it does fit there, so you can certainly use this if this is what you want to use. So after you gluing it down, I've taken this red nail file. This way I wouldn't have to get out paint and the sticks. I just went ahead and clipped off a piece of this to use for the straw. It's a holiday DIY, so I thought the red would be a nice little added touch. I've just cut a piece down that will fit there over the white straw area and then I am filing down with my sanding block just to make sure I get my edges even. It would drive me nuts if I hung it on the wall and did not have an even edge. I would likely take it down and, and start over. Do those kind of things bother you? I don't know why they bother me, but they do. So it fits perfectly, and I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue, and I put it on the larger surface so I wouldn't burn my fingertips. And press it in place. So there is the straw in the top of our mason jar. So next I'm going to make the band around the middle and I've decided to use this thrifted burlap. This is about four, maybe five inches if I had to guess. Pretty sure I did not measure it. And that's a little bit large, but rather than cutting it and having it fray, I have decided <laughs> that I am going to fold it over and then glue it down. Rather like hemming it, but we're going to use hot glue. There are so many conversations that go on while I'm crafting downstairs. My husband actually came downstairs while I was doing this one and we were chatting about a few things. But oftentimes you'll see my kids down here, their little hands on the edge of the table. We talk about whatever. I add a little glue here and there for my daughter while she's doing her craft projects because she likes to craft with me. This happened to be a day that they were at school, so I had the basement to myself. Okay, I just used the clamps here that came from Dollar Tree just to hold it in place until the glue dries. And we remove it. We have nice clean edges. And I'm going to put this piece of black and white checked buffalo check, whatever you want to call it, right centered in here. I've already measured this against the the jar and it is enough to go around the sides so that it can be very neat on the front and be glued in the back. You want to have enough that you can glue it in the back so you don't have to put glue in the front and have some frayed edges showing. It gives it some dimension and I like that. I'm going to pull it where there's no buckling in it, clamp it down my handy dandy scissors trim it up and then I'm going to put some glue in there to hold it in place I 
like I always say, use your little finger protectors if you have them. That glue will go right through burlap. So now I do not like that there is a little difference in the color of the ribbon on the top and the burlap that's on the bottom. I was going to see if maybe I wanted to use the checkered ribbon on the top, but I decided against it. So I want this to still be a burlap texture and color on the top. So I'm just going to fold this over and use this and I think it looks so much better. Trimmed off the wire edge so that it wouldn't be too bulky on one side. Once that piece is dried, you can remove the clamps and then we'll be using them again to do this. Some hot glue. Again, this is burlap. You will burn yourself if you don't use your finger protectors. Or you could also use a little rubber spatula, silicone spatula, something like that. And again on this side. The little edges that are squared over there, I want to give it a more finished look, so I'm just adding a little glue and then rolling that over with my fingers and clamping it down until it holds. And it gives it, um, I think, a nicer look. I don't want the bottom of my little straw to show, so I've just pulled that up. And I like this much better than the, the first option that I tried. Okay, so these actually had um, paper on the back, like a wax paper on the back, and they are a sticker underneath. So they have adhesive already on them. Um, I don't know what happened to the clip of me actually peeling those off and putting them on, but that's what I did. I just centered them there and pressed them down. They have a really good hold. So I'm going to put a bow on the top, and I am using some of that same black and white checked ribbon to make a simple shoelace bow to put on the top. You can leave this this way if, if you like it. You can use something different. You can use this, that burlap ribbon that we used before to put a bow on there if you want to. Or you can stop here and not use a bow at all. Make it yours, remember? We're making it our own on this channel. Always watch videos for inspiration, but never feel the need to do exactly what somebody else does. And if I ever come close that I am aware of to someone else's project, if there's a copy of something that I've not seen and I'm not aware of, then obviously I can't give credit to that person. But if I see something like on Pinterest, then I will give credit to where that idea originally came from. It's just the right thing to do. To give people credit for their creativity. So I needed a little bit of greenery on here naturally. I'm gonna take the Dollar Tree pick and cut those leaves apart. And because the bow is bulky, I don't want a lot of bulk here, so I want this to be kind of flat. The idea of this project is to be simple, but festive. So that's all glued into place. The back looks terrible. You can cover that. You could have always painted that back side, or you could cover it with some brown crafting paper if you would like. This is going to be flat on the wall, so no one will see the back of this. And at some point, it may be repurposed to another project. Just taking a loop of chenille stem and making a hanger on the back, making sure that it doesn't go over the top of the edge of my sign. A little hot glue and then a piece of scrap cardboard paper to hold that in place. I want to fluff up that bow and make sure that it is looking nice and spry. And I decided that because those berries originally, the uh, dark red berries, they didn't really show up against the dark green. 
So I decided to just take another pick that I got from Dollar Tree and just cut those berries off and put them there. And I think that is a much better option. It also matches better with the straw on the top of the mason jar. So what do you think? This is the complete project. It didn't take long to do this at all. It's simple and expensive. And it's exactly how I wanted it to be. Thanks for stopping by my channel and watching my videos. I appreciate all the support as usual. If you like budget-friendly decor and DIYs, consider subscribing to the channel. And comment below if you have any requests for Christmas crafting that I might could consider doing for a future video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.